Because I want to leave people with a, with a sweet taste in yes. their mouth. <laughs> I want people to leave their thinking, the wake was awful, but, but who was that bread? Yeah, he was looking fly, yeah. literally. Who's who that bread? That was yeah. with, that Sarah? Because that pinstripe, <laughs> that golden black Wakanda Forever pinstripe was looking mad. <laughs> As you already know, guys, we go straight into the IG question. And the IG question of this week was, what's the worst pickup line you've ever heard? And as per usual, guys, the response is Juicy, worse. juicy, juice. I'm actually really excited yeah. about this one, you Tripping know. Tripping down my chin, juicy. I was really excited because yeah. I usually don't look at them. Mm. But people were sending me um, screenshots. Okay. Like me personally. Okay. Of like, oh, for your question, for your question. Oh, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I don't know what the question is, bro. <laughs> so why are you sending me this? But obviously I clocked. All right, so um, I'm going to say them to you as if you're the chick. Okay, and, yeah, yeah, And I yeah. want you to rate them. Get, we'll do like a five-star rating on all these. Say less, say Obviously, less, it's say the less. worst ones, but a lot of them, for me, are just funny. All right, of course. Yeah, so I just want to see what, right, what you're saying. I like my women like I like my ice cream. Plus size and dripping down my fingers. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> hey. That's a bit... Hey, it's yeah, that's a... a it's hard because I, I, I ha- this is the first one. Yeah. So I don't want to be like, oh, that's a five. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah, it could be dead yeah. in comparison to what we get. But I'm going to give that like a, a three three and a bit. All right, three stars. Say yeah, less. Yeah, say less. She said she was going to climb me like a tree. I'm five foot five. Where's the pickup line? Bro, there Where's is, the pickup line? There is none. <laughs> <laughs> there is none. <laughs> she must have been four foot eight. What's up? Bro, all right, say less. <laughs> How much does a polar bear weigh? enough to break the ice Ooh, okay i'll give it like a two that's a bit quirky <laughs> okay but i'm not giggling yeah, yeah. i'm not giggling <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah 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 oh your eyelash is real i closed my eyes to show him and he tried to kiss me <laughs> <laughs> that just leave it that's, nah, that's assault, bro. That is assault. That's assault, bro. <laughs> Jeez, that's funny. Uh, that's jokes. That is funny. <laughs> oh my god. All right, say less. Grab your coat. Mm. You've been pulled. All right, I've heard that one. Oh, was there? You never yeah. heard that? That's that's a oh, that's a classic, bro. Yeah, Grab your coat. You've pulled. You've pulled. That's yeah. classic. Mm. We're talking free. Was it? Uh, what's that? Um, what's that old show? Three point three pints of lager. Do you remember that show? Three pints of. Three Is pints of lager and a packet of crisps. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, it was like on Dave or something. Oh, Dave, bro. Dave? It was before, I think it was like, I want to say it was like BBC Three in like the early oh, 2000s. Oh, wow. Jeez, I, I, it rings a bell about, yeah. Yeah, deadish show, oh, but I used to watch it when, at like 2 a.m. Fair. <laughs> All right. She said she saw me on Saturday night at 10.30. I was her match of the day. Mm, okay. Okay, that's a four. It's a four. That's right. a four. Yeah, Say yeah, 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 yeah. Say less. I like my women like I like my advent calendars. Against the wall, flaps open and ready to be eaten. Okay, that's aggressive. <laughs> flaps open. Flaps. <laughs> that's aggressive. It's aggressive. All right, I'll give that like a, you know, what, I'm actually going to duck points because mm. that, that was a bit much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was a bit much. The much. flaps through yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, flaps yeah. through me. That's right. like a two. I'll give right, you like a say two. Say less, say less. Is your surname Malfoy? Because it's you I want to slither in. Oh! Mm. <laughs> I'll give that a four. Say less. <laughs> <laughs> if I told you I worked at FedEx, would you be able to handle my package? Mm. You know, I'm going to give that like a three. I think we could have done better if we we're going to go package. But yeah, that's not bad. Mm, that's, okay. not bad. that's not bad. That's not bad. Just go out with me. I've asked you three times already. (laughs) Yo, that's funny. That's funny. Oh, Jesus. I'd give that a five. That's a five, bro. That's so funny. Gang. (laughs) Are you my appendix? Because I have a funny feeling I should take you out. Mm, Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not not bad. bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd give it a three. Mm. I'd love to take you to the movies, but they have rules against bringing your own snacks. Mmm, that's yummy. <laughs> Daddy, that's yummy. 
<laughs> that one I would give a five. All right, say that. Right. So we got two fives. You're calling me a snack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I want to bang you like the screen door in a hurricane. Oh my God. <laughs> Aggressive. <laughs> Them screen doors are... Oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> They're slamming <laughs> against the door. Wow. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. What's the difference between me and my couch? Well on. My couch pulls out. I swear. I've never made a... Uh, actually, I have. I was going to say, I've never made a pull-out joke. But I have. What, to a chick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd like to say I haven't because I can't genuinely think of one, but I probably have. Yeah, I probably, I mm. think I have. Hmm. All right. Let me tickle your belly button from the inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheeky. I ain't cheeky it. From the inside. From the inside. From, I don't know what it's like to have like fanny flutters, yeah. but that would, that would run me in. If he if he's banging, yeah, that would run him to yeah, me. Yeah. That would my from my legs would yeah, yeah my knees would buckle game. in. Yeah, 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 yeah. From the inside, I'm trying to be in your gut. Yes, but jeez, <laughs> God. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Sweet in me, Sweet in me. <laughs> Are you my laptop? Because you're really hot and you're making me nervous. <laughs> Fair play. Fair play, bro. <laughs> when those fans kick in. And it's, it's just game geez. over. Yeah, yeah. It's revving. The thing is oh, revving. God. Yeah, yeah. I, fam, I close my laptop and flip it upside down. Do you? Just give it some air. Close my laptop and flip it upside down. Like, do what you need That's to do. Jokes. Do what you need to do because you're making noise. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. I've never done that. That's too funny. <clears throat> do you want to play sharks? I'll eat you and you scream. No. Aggressive. That's a one. <laughs> That's a one. Say That's less. too much. Say less. <laughs> do you want to play sharks? What? Are you a bowling ball? Because I want to stick three fingers in you. Mm, I knew where that was going, so mm. I'm going to give it a two. Yeah. That was obvious where mm, that was going. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> After he heard I went through a breakup, he said, I love me some leftover Chinese. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa! Swear! Jesus. Jesus. Obviously, she was Chinese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Just to, just to clarify. Wow. <laughs> Nah, oh, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> don't know how to feel about that. Jeez. <sighs> what's, eat, well, what's better than eating a mandarin? Go on. Eating a mandar out. Mm. That's not bad. Mm. That's not bad. Mm. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. I feel like, um, <clears throat> but the thing is, it's not bad. But if my name was Amanda, mm. as soon as you said, what's better than eating a mandarin? Mm. I'd be like, ugh. <sighs> Yeah, here heard, we go. I've heard this before. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know yeah. where this is going. You're not eating me out. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop right there. No, don't even do this. <laughs> That's jokes. Man said, damn, you're hotter than a spoon at a crack house. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> That's hot on <I'm> black. <laughs> Scorching. <laughs> Scorching. That's hot, on black. hot to the touch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Them yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. It's bubbling. <laughs> Yeah, that smack is bubbling on that spoon. <laughs> That's jokes. <laughs> Are you into birds? Because I think you'd like a cock or two. Oh, okay. I've heard that before. Say that. Not bad. I got a couple more. Or two as well. Like, where, yeah. what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we saying? Because yeah. I'm, I'm a tart, <laughs> yeah. is what you're saying. A cock or two? It's an insult. You and who? Yeah. You're trying yeah, to bring a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you chatting to me or are you insulting me? <laughs> Waste man. <laughs> Did you fall from heaven? Because you look clumsy as fuck. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> oh my days, bruv. <clears throat> clumsy as fuck. It's sweet, the oh. life out of you. <sighs> Last one. Are you a farmer? Because you know how to raise a cock. All right, say less. Say less, say less, say less. Uh, yeah, so those were the worst pickup lines you've ever received. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Jesus, that was funny. That was hella yeah. funny. Um, but yeah, I, someone actually sent me one. Mm. <laughs> this is dumb. It was dumb. She screenshotted it. It was, I think it was on like Tinder or something. Mm. And it said literally like, are you a fart? Because you okay. blow me yeah, away. You blow me away, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stupid, bro. Yeah, but yeah, I, I got loads of those when I was posting them. This actually brings me on to my next thing. Not next thing, but I've been tempted. 
Um, I keep keeps coming into my head um, that I want to start, but I just forget all the time. Mm. So now we're on the topic. What yeah. I would love to do is, guys, if you can send us in, send us in some Tinder conversations. Mm. Some we did ask we asked about this years, years ago. ago when we had zero followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're asking we're, ourselves, we're begging for followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We asked we'll ask ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, but yeah, 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 let's let's do some. Doesn't have to be Tinder. Let's do some. Um, dating app yeah. conversations yeah, yeah, yeah. either whether it's their opening line or how the conversation goes mm. or if you want to know what their intentions are mm. what he said what she said mm. just send them in yeah um and yeah we're gonna we're gonna we'll we're, discuss it on the show yeah we're gonna make something of it because yeah, yeah, there's something yeah, in there yeah, that yeah. i'm super interested about and the ones that i have seen super funny gang um so yeah please send them in guys but anyway welcome back to the yeah, show welcome back you are back here with your boys j money and fire lord Fwigs, <laughs> yet again guys every monday Friday. Um, so of course thank you so much for joining us Facts. um <clears throat> as always guys what we need to, you to do is join the cult babies Okay, we're the we're cult the, daddies. We need the cult we need babies. More cult okay, babies. We, we need more cult babies. We need a log cabin somewhere in the US of A, preferably facts, facts. a nice open meadow where we can indoctrinate ewes. We can have breeding grounds, and we just have kekekes and clapping cheeks. Facts. Um, and the way to indoctrinate yourself into the cult baby culture, guys, is head on over to patreon.com forward slash shits, shits and gigs, gigs, where you will be introduced to the thousands of other cult babies that we have over there Actual that enjoy facts. bonus content content from mm-hmm. ourselves they enjoy a back catalogue of everything that we've done on patreon it's uncensored mm. it's very unedited it's raw it's super funny and it's a good time guys get on the discord chat about this that and the other yeah, be man. the first to know about shows be the first to know about new merch be the first to know about everything and obviously once we get the log cabin be the first there facts it's gonna cost you three pound a month 10 p a day you need to run the p to S and G guys over at patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs yes, do that now and then yes, as soon sir. as you get back guys if you are watching us on youtube please subscribe we're doing numbers on the subscriptions and now i'm thinking wow maybe one day we will hit a million i was yeah, saying it yeah, before yeah, yeah, i was just yeah, saying yeah, it yeah, before yeah, yeah, but now yeah, yeah, oh yeah. 300 and something yeah. thousand this it's could actually happen creeping. it's gonna take a while but guys it's tell a friend creeping. to tell a friend subscribe to the channel keep the notifications on when you know we're dropping something new it's like yes, hot and lastly guys if you are listening on any podcast platform any audio platform please do us a massive favor and leave us a nice review it means the world to us as always five stars is preferable but whatever you say say it with your chest guys and without any further ado i'm going to pass you guys over to my brethren to my boy fire lord Fwags, who is going to hit us with some knowledge for today get the juices flowing it's monday let's go fun day let's go in 2012 after his girlfriend broke up with him a Chicago man bought a car for $500 in her name and abandoned it in an illegal car park at the airport. The, accumulation, that, the car accumulated over $100,000 in parking fines, which the city demanded the ex-girlfriend had to pay. That's impossible. <laughs> That's so amazingly calculated. Bro. Bro. How are we not just towing this car, by the Bro. way? Bro. I lie. Because it's been, it's been long now. Wow. I've been, if, if I'm amassing so many fines just towed it in clean yeah, no yeah, one's yeah, yeah. no one's about to get that's it. crazy bro hundreds thousand dollars and the city said big man you're paying it you're, i don't care i don't care where you get the money from <laughs> i don't care where you get the money from suzanne you're paying pay it you shut paying. up and pay it it's your car it's in your name right and she's a like, big, big man it's not mine and she probably doesn't even know it's him but she probably she knows. knows. Yeah, to she be knows fair, she knows she knows, knows bastard. She, knows she knows exactly who it is mm. oh that's horrible that's that's treacherous. That's treacherous. I could never be that victim. I couldn't. Yeah, because it, like, I've said this before. I only have a certain threshold of stress I can handle before I just tap out. Yeah. Yeah. And I promise you I'll move country. <coughs> like, I just won't care anymore. Like, yeah. it's to a point where the council can never ring me and be like, oh, this is your car, et cetera, et cetera. You owe us a hundred grand. Yeah. And you have to pay it, otherwise you'll go in jail. Mm. I'm like, mm, well, obviously I'm not paying it. I'm not so paying. I'm just going to leave. Yeah, so just buy then, isn't I'm it? I'm just going to leave. Because I'll just pack my passport and my face expression won't change. <laughs> because like I said, I've only got a certain range of yeah, emotion yeah, I can handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as soon as it gets past that peak, mm. I just shut down. Yeah. <laughs> I literally just shut down. Yeah. And I'm like, cool, I just yeah. don't care anymore. Mm. I'll put the phone down, pack my bags, and I'll just go off to like Norway or something. Just dip. Because I'm not paying you a hundred grand. hundred bags. That's that's sinister. I wonder what she did to deserve that. Oh, 100%. Sinister. Oh, and on my way to the airport, I forgot to say, I'm going to his yard with a sledgehammer. 
I forgot to say. Forgot to say. On my way to the airport, yeah. I'm pulling up to his yard with sm- Sedgham and I'm smashing everything to bits. And I hope he opens the front door. I hope he opens the front door because he'll be collateral damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not running. A man can never be like, ha, 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 ha. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'll fish hook his nose. <laughs> Oh, then let Cersei know yeah, it was yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would, oh, one million percent, I would Fish put... Fish hook his nose. <laughs> bro, I will pull a Cersei yeah. um, on that Red Keep episode. <laughs> I'm blowing everything up. I'm blowing everything up and I'm walking out of there. That was an episode. That was an episode. That was an episode. That Cersei was an episode. Was, Cersei was a villain. Oh, Cersei was the villain. Villain. The villain. As soon as they lopped her hair off, mm. she, she, she stopped yeah, caring. Yeah, 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 yeah. As soon as her hair got chopped off, she <laughs> like, stopped fuck caring. Fuck all you, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really about to be real. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Jeez, <laughs> Cersei was crazy. She was crazy. What a throwback. Who's the, th- um, I'll say, oh, Damon's the new crazy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to say that, but I thought you were going to say who's another good quote unquote villain in the show I was going to say um, uh, the We Are Pions We Are Pions We, we Are Pions oh what's her name Queen um... Mac- Macbeth Mac- oh no it's uh... um, that's the sister it's uh, it is from C oh it is um, from C her name is Sibbeth Sibbeth it is Sibbeth well played Sibbeth turns out I was never going to get it yeah. <laughs> as soon as you said Sibbeth I was like oh, I was way off <laughs> I'm all there like, oh, oh I was way off. Yeah, yeah, Sibbeth, Sibbeth is a villain. She's dark. She's a villain. I'm so far behind, I need to watch. Are I haven't seen did, anything you else. I've seen season three as well. I've seen, spoiler alert in three, two, one. I've seen her escape the, the city. Mm-hmm. I've seen her <laughs> up to her face in leaves. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. When she slept in the yeah, woods. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. She was roughing it in the yeah, woods. Yeah, yeah, I've seen yeah. up to that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then um, I haven't seen anything else. Okay, yeah, it's, it's juice, man. It is juice. It's, juice. Um, it's real, real good. Where you up to on... Um, for all mankind. So for all mankind, mm. I am. I don't think I'm much further than the last time we spoke. I haven't watched it in a few days. Okay. I'm on see obviously season one. Oh, still on season one. Yeah. So okay. I'm. Oh, okay. Cool. So, homeboy now knows that. Um, spoiler alert! In three, two, one. He knows mm. his son's dead. Okay. Ed. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. He's just been drinking. Yeah. He's been drinking. He grabs. I can't remember what whiskey it was. He yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something. He grabbed it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's been drinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um and. The crew are now... Okay, cool. So Apollo 25? Mm. Is it 25 or 24? I can't remember. Can't remember. They've I'm on gone season up. three now. Homeboy. Yeah. You're on season three? Yeah, 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 You've got time on your hands, bro. I do. Um, <laughs> I actually do. Um, so they've gone up to get him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, they had mm-hmm. an issue while they were up there. Mm-hmm. So now they need to send someone... They need to send the home girl. Yes. Up there, yes, 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 yes. To get, uh, to go, yeah. They need to send more people up there, basically, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, to sort their ship out, so they can go get Ed. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. where I'm at right now. Oh, this episode after that, ooh, swear. There's a because I didn't want to say it because I didn't know whether it was in end of season one or beginning of season two because I couldn't remember. But there's a scene with you know the um, the chick that's uh, claiming to be claiming not to be a lesbian. You're married. She's just yeah, got married to married, homeboy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So she goes up. Mm-hmm. She does a Marza in space. I swear. Yeah, she does a Marza in say, space. Say, say, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so say that's the next episode. Less. All right, cool. That's the next episode. Maybe I'll watch it tonight then. It's, um, I'm telling you, the production and the visuals of what they do in space, James, is bonkers. Okay, cool. Bonkers. Cool, 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 cool. I'm starting to enjoy it more. I'm not going to lie, bro. It was First a few episodes. Burn. I told you, bro. I know. The thing is, you, you told mm. me. I don't think you told me enough. Because <laughs> not only was it a slow burner, yeah. it was the most boring show I'd ever seen. Yeah. Oh, it was slow, For the bro. first four episodes. It was slow. Most boring show I've seen. But you seen. needed the context. As you of look course. back now, you needed the context. Of course, of course. Context. You always do. Yeah. Which is why they waste people's time with yeah. that. But <laughs> yeah. it was so slow and so boring. Mm. Um, I also haven't... I'm not up to date with Bleach. Oh! I... What was the last episode you watched? So the last episode I watched was, um, <coughs> or maybe I am up to date. No, I don't think I am. Or maybe I am. Because I'm up to date, so you can say whatever. So I don't think, no, 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 I'm not up to date. Okay. I'm not up to date. I'm not up to date. What was the last thing you watched? The last thing I watched was Captain Yamamoto doing a dirty madness. A dirty madness. The North, South, East, West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> that was disgusting. Yeah. 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 That was disgusting. Yeah. You saw what happened at the end, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah cool. I've never seen stuff like that in anime. Radar? I, the thing is, when I think he started with what? East or something. Yeah, and yeah, when yeah. he said East, I was thinking, gang. But when he said East, I was thinking, there must be three more. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I didn't think that they would show us three more. Bro, in he one went episode. through the whole thing just for laughs. Just for shit. Literally just for shits and gigs. I was yeah, like, yeah. oh my he went God. Through, he took us through the whole cycle just for the sake of it. I was like, oh my God. He is a powerful. He's too powerful. Mother. 
Fuck. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And he went um, so overkill, mm. which in the scheme of things jarred me mm. because he's done all of this. He mm. could have X man off with East. True. He could have done true, man off with East. True, true, true. And then true. he went through the whole shenanigan. Mm, just cause he wanted to prove a point. To prove a point. Mm. Finally duppied my man, only for homeboy to come back and be like, you're tired, innit? Yeah. You're a bit tired. Shame. Yank. <laughs> just yank. Oh, mad yeah. sing. Bleach, Bleach is mad. Uh, where are you up to on My Hero? My, oh, I'm behind on my, I'm behind on all anime at the minute. Okay. So I'm, I think I'm an episode behind on Blue Lock. Mm. I'm three episodes behind on Chainsaw Man. So I'm excited to watch that. I'm an episode behind on Bleach and I am uh, an episode, two, maybe two episodes behind on My Hero. Okay, both My Hero and Chainsaw Man, you, you would wish there were more episodes. Oh, I bet. You would wish there were more episodes. I might just leave Chainsaw Man mm. because I haven't missed it. Okay. I've, I enjoy watching okay. it, but obviously it's so early on. I'm yeah, not emotionally yeah, invested. Yeah, yeah, Okay, I hear you, I hear you. I'm not I emotionally you. invested. And a good story to cut you off, the good thing about it is that I hardly, I don't see spoilers anyway, so you won't be ruined by anything. Like, you won't be like, oh shit, episode yeah, 9's yeah, come yeah, out yeah, 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 yeah. when you're on episode fucking 4. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so, yeah 100%, um, yeah. I will, might just leave Chainsaw Man for the end of the season, if okay. I can handle it. I, I definitely can't do that. I have to watch it. But yeah, because I'm, I'm so behind on everything else, yeah. I, can, I can clog my time with other stuff that I can watch Fair enough. to let that carry on. But I'm enjoying it. Do you know what I did finish um, the other day, which I stopped months ago? Tokyo Revengers. I finished, I finished it last week. Have maybe. they dropped season two yet? No, they're dropping it next year. Oh, okay, cool. Either next year or December, but I think it's next year. I think it's January. The, the big fight in, the, in that car park thing. Oh my God. There was surprise after surprise after surprise. <laughs> they were dropping Bro. bodies. Yes, 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 yes. Mikey is two arms. Oh, he's too much. He's literally two too much. Two arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's too when much. When he was getting the pole to the face? Yeah, yeah, or yeah. To yeah, the yeah, head yeah, top? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was getting tumped up for ages. And he said, swear, you're, you really want to be my enemy. His eyes went white. You really want to yeah, be yeah, my enemy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His eyes went white. When he raises, my man was grabbing his leg. He raised his leg and then kicked my man in the face. Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mikey's different. Good episode. I don't know oh, who taught him yeah. how to fight like that. I don't know who to, who to fight like that. Hopefully they give us a good backstory of Mikey, um, or a bit more backstory of, of Mikey in season two. Yeah, because they've given you a story of obviously what happened to his brother. Yes. But between from what happened to his brother to him starting the gang, yeah. we don't know anything yeah, about they it. They showed us a couple backstories of when they started the gang yeah, and yeah, why yeah, they started yeah, yeah, the gang, yeah, yeah, but yeah. They, didn't, they didn't dive into yeah, it. Yeah, and no one knows why he's so arms. No one knows Nobody why he's so arms. Nobody knows, apart from the fact that he just is. He, yeah, facts, bro, facts. He, he just, just is. is. And it doesn't make sense that he could just kick man in the head like that. And, and then, uh, Sorry to cut you off on. again. I was going to say, I hope um, Takemichi has some actual powers. Not powers, but like some, something about him. Some bollocks. Two. Something. Something, some guts. That's the reason why I stuck, because it was jarring. <laughs> he was getting tumped up every single episode. He, he takes L after L he after was L. Such a, he's such a little weakling. He's useless, bro. And they've made him captain now. So I, I, I hope to God... They fast tracked it to like, like two years later for season two, and he's just arms. Mm, mm, and he's just mm, absolutely mm, mm. arms. So he is. I'm looking forward to watching season two. But do you know what? I do want to start. Um, I know we're going on a little like, anime tangent, but do you know what? I do want to uh, continue watching again, which I think you intro, you definitely introed it to me. Uh, Bongu Stray Dogs, whatever it's called. Show. Season one? Show. Season four's out in January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not, I've definitely watched season one, but I can't remember anything about it. And. I need to watch season two and three. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I, so I might recap season, season one. Season one was amazing. <coughs> I've w I remember watching a little bit of season two and yeah. thinking, okay, I feel like every season they change the story mad. Okay. So I don't know if it's completely continuous. Okay. Um, but check it out for me because I can't really remember. Okay. I'm going to rewatch it anyway. God, season one was good. Yeah, I'm going to rewatch season one. God, again. season one yeah, was good. Yeah, yeah. Tis the season for <laughs> clean balls. Fa la 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 la. Gang. Hey. Right, guys. <laughs> It's manscape time. It's manscape time. <laughs> yes, Over man. there, these lot are helping you clear your driveway for safe travels this holiday season. <laughs> From stocking <laughs> stuffers to gift exchanges, Manscaped's products are the top of every wish list. Facts. Grab some crop mops mm. for your pops mm. or the shampoo for your boo. Say less. <laughs> these lot love a little rhyme. Oh, yes, love right. A little, a little alliteration speed. thing. Yes, be the star of gifting season and help all the men in your life go from eggnog to nice hog. Bro? Say less. This December by going manscaped. 
sportsbet.com and using the code, guys, you already know what it is, but let me remind you one time, the code is SNG. You already know Sierra November Golf. And that's going to give you 20% off plus free shipping, guys. Thank you so much. Let's get back to the episode. Sure. Um, right. Okay. Cool. I've got a couple of things to talk about. Hit me. So? Yeah. Daddy finally got his test results. Okay. After like okay, two months of this okay, shit. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, Daddy finally got his test results. Okay. So I, I think this might have been like purely Patreon chat up yeah, until now. Yeah, I was going to say, give them context. So please, for context. Um, so guys, um, I wanted to test out what my testosterone levels were saying. Um, because obviously your boys are in the gym, lifting weight. Mm. I'm not losing weight the way I used to. I remember when I used to want to diet, I used to just cut out sugar for a week mm. and your boy had yeah, yeah, the all the abs, yeah, 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 yeah. all the cum gutters, <laughs> yeah. the, whole, the whole shebang. Yeah. Um, these days, it ain't patterning like that. It's just not. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, it's not falling off like it used it's to. It's not falling off like it used yeah, to. Yeah, I remember yeah. one time, so uh, Rem wrote me a diet plan over, over summer mm. before we went away. First two weeks, I think I dropped. First week, I dropped like five pounds. I remember you. Said, I was like, yeah, yeah, gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second week, I dropped like three pounds or something mm. like that. I was like, let's go. I'm yeah. on stuff. The third week, I did like actual better. Yeah. Like my, I was stricter on the third week than I had been the previous two weeks. Mm. I gained a pound. Yeah, I remember you telling me. I wanted to start stabbing <laughs> people. Fam, I wanted to start get a box cutter and just start doing stuff. And I was like, what's going start on? Start doing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and you know. Um, <laughs> It's jokes. And then you know, you know when like uh what's the film? You know on White Chicks? Yes. But she's she's in the changing room scene. Yes. And she's like, say hello. Yo, oh. Fam, that day I gained a pound, that was me in the bathroom mirror, just ass naked, just <laughs> say hello. <laughs> say hello to little piggy. <laughs> trying to zip up the thing. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. zip it up. I was oh, like, my days. why is this happening to me? Oh, why is this happening peak, to me? Peak, peak, peak. Um so from then I lost motivation. Oh, so goodness. obviously Going through everything, I still mm. train hard. Mm. Um, I know my sleep isn't perfect, but basically what I wanted to happen in my head, I was thinking to myself, right, I'm going to go and get my testosterone tested. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go get my hormones tested and I'm going to see Wagwan. Mm-hmm. So I ordered the medical kit. Um, the company I used was Medichex, if anyone else is interested. Uh, it's actually really good. Um, I think it cost me to get a full breakdown I think it cost me like 70 quid. Mm-hmm. There's a cheaper one for 30 quid, which is a little bit more basic, but I wanted a full breakdown. Mm-hmm. 70 quid. They send you a little finger prick thing. Mm-hmm. So first time, guys, I tried the finger prick thing. I couldn't get blood out of my fingers to, to save, save my life. life yeah. yeah, I felt like Wolverine. <laughs> as soon as I pricked it, the thing was closed. <laughs> as, soon as, the thing was closed. Closed. as soon as I pricked my finger, the thing was closed. <laughs> so I was I, I was panicked because you have to give them a certain amount of blood oh, in this little vial. Joke. So I, I, I was short on some blood. Yeah. So I dipped my bloody finger into my water bottle and just dropped a couple a little healthy drops of water in there. I thought they're never gonna know. <laughs> I'm 70% water, do you know what I mean? I'm a human being. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they're never gonna know. But I'm just volvic up in yeah. there. So I sent it off to them. They came back to me immediately mm. and was like, error, 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 yeah, error. Yeah. Anomaly, yeah, anomaly, 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 anomaly. Yeah. None of this is making sense. Do it yeah. again. Yeah. So they sent me a free one. Do it again. This time I pricked my finger. It was gushing out. Mm. I was like, gang. Gave them the blood. Sent it off. Mm. There was Royal Mail strikes. Yes. yes and they yes, need yes, it. It yes, says yes, on the package, they need it basically the next day. Mm-hmm. They need it ASAP. The longer mm-hmm. it's not, the longer it's out, the, like, the more anomalies they're going to mm-hmm. have. So I sent it off. I remember I sent it off on a Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a Royal Mail strike. They send you an email as soon as they receive it. Mm-hmm. They didn't receive it till the following Monday. Mistake. I was livid. Mistake. Absolutely livid. Yeah. So now they've given, in their mind, all right, this is strike two. Yeah. So <laughs> they, got one more. Fam, they bailed me. They bailed me and said, look. Is this James? Fam? <laughs> is this James? I don't James? know what you're playing at. <laughs> but this time we can't risk sending you another package. Yeah, you're, yeah. Wa- you're just wasting, wasting them. them yeah. So um, they basically said, you've got two options. Mm. You can pay an extra 30 quid mm-hmm. and go to one of our local clinics. Um, and uh, they'll just take your blood there. You drive yeah, to the yeah, clinic, yeah. they'll take your blood. That's an extra 30 quid. Or you can mm. pay an extra 50 quid and we'll send a nurse to your yard. Yeah. I Googled the closest clinics. The closest one was like 45 miles away. I was like- Miles? 45 miles away. I think it was eight minutes. No. Nah, miles? 40, 45 miles away. Wow. And I was like, hell no. Are you going to reimburse me I'm petrol? Like, I'm like, are you reimbursing about? me petrol? Who's checking my MOT? Yeah. Make sure, because that's a distance. <laughs> And I was like, "That's you're asking me to write off an afternoon. Yeah, rags. Uh, I'm not writing off. Right. I'm not driving an hour and a bit there 
doing however long I have to wait there, doing right, my blood yeah. test and an hour and a bit back. It's pretty much cross country. Bro, I'm not way. doing it. So I was like, uh, and then it was like 50 quid, was in a mm. nurse to your yard. Mm. Paid the 50 quid, nurse came, mm. they send you another pack, which is like a, ve- like a Venus one now. Okay. So not from the finger prick anymore, bro, bro. So she comes over, her name was Maxine, she was lovely. Okay. She came over on Saturday. Mm. Um, I did one of these. Yeah. And she's like, how are you feeling? And I was like, brother, I'm not going to lie to you. Nervous. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't like blood tests. Yeah. Give me a little vaccine, mm. minor. Yeah, I don't have yeah, a fear yeah. of needles. There's something about these men sticking it in and my veins. Yeah, yeah. And fam, you can hear it bubbling <laughs> in the vial. When it's like, blah, 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 yeah, you yeah. can hear it. And that's my, that's my insides. That's yeah, my yeah, life yeah, force. Yeah. That's my life force. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You're bubbling away yeah, in there. Yeah, draining so it. I, was look- I was looking at the ceiling. <laughs> I was looking at the ceiling yeah. and I was shaking like that. <laughs> and then she's like, it's done, it's done. I was like, gang. Mm. And, but she, and what made it worse, she gave me a little squidgy ball to squeeze. Oh, and I was like, I don't want to squeeze it because I know why you want me to squeeze yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's getting a good, good. Yeah, you, <laughs> you want that you, hemoglobin. You want, that, yeah. you want it to burst out. <laughs> <laughs> Not my blood. You want it, yeah, you, you want it to come willingly. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to work for this. <laughs> willingly. <laughs> Yeah, Those bro, jokes. you want my insides to come to you with a free will. <coughs> Moving like some Pied Piper. <laughs> nah, bro, you're going to have to take it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah. fam, she grips it from me. And then afterwards, she was like, oh, if you feel faint or anything like that, mm. it's fine. I just wanted to just get out. <laughs> I just wanted to just get out. <laughs> You've she got put a plaster want on her. I wanted to say, Maxine, I'm sorry, but get out. I don't want to look at your face anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she left. And then what made it worse, my arm was aching after. Oh. It was jarring me. It was, it was not even like so painful, but it's just that I felt like I could notice it. Okay. And I just felt like, even though it wasn't that bad, I felt like my arm was flopping. <laughs> and like, I, was just I like, can't train for This is impacting my Someone give me sugar. Yes. Water and sugar. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I can't do anything. Yeah. Anyway, so all gone, I was thinking, this better work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Monday morning, they email me, we've got your results. Oh, gang. I was like, bet. Mm. Opened it. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, thinking, yeah. right. Eventuality one. Mm-hmm. In my head, I'm like, cool. Here's scenario number one. Scenario yeah. number one is they tell me, James, your testosterone is dangerously low. Your testosterone is dangerously low. And oh, the reason up. you're fat and weak <laughs> is, is because you've got no testosterone. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. anything, we're impressed you've made it this, this far. far. <laughs> yeah. How are you alive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adrenaline We're only. impressed yeah. that you're as wham as you yeah. are because you've got nothing going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, like you need to sign up for, for some TRT immediately. Mm, mm. Let's get your levels up. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then I would have been gassed. Yeah. I would even gas shoot me up. Yeah, yeah, everywhere. Yeah, give me yeah. all the give yeah. me all the juice because I'm about to get massive. Yeah, that's eventuality number one. Eventuality number two mm. was they'd say, "Yeah, testosterone is actually fucking high." To mm. be fair, James, your testosterone is high, mm. and in my head, I'm like, James, you've got high testosterone. Why are you complaining? Yeah. Or the, if I had high testosterone in my head, I'm like, all of these things are your fault. Yeah. This thing about you complaining not losing weight, yeah, you complain about yeah, this, you're yeah, complaining yeah, that you're not yeah. feeling strong enough mm. or whatever that you used to, all it's of all your fault. Mind games, because your, your hormones are up. If anything, you should be way bigger than you are. <laughs> and it would have motivated the shit out of me. Yeah. I promise you, it would have motivated the shit out of me. Okay. So I would have been like, gang, which one's it going to be? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Came back, middle of the pack. Oh, swear. Couldn't be more central. Oh, swear. It literally might as well have been called basic bitch. <laughs> middle. Swear. Not any lower, not any higher than... It was 50. smack, bang, 50-50 in the middle, basic bitch, average male. Wow. Okay. And I was like, what so am I supposed to here? do with yeah, this? Where do we go from here? <laughs> <laughs> so, this is where we go from okay. here. This is what me and Ren were talking about before. Okay, okay, okay. So, anyway, so I'm, I'm deflated. Okay. Scenario, I'm deflated. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do? And yeah. I check all the hormones. Okay. Middle, 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 oh. for everything. I'm just an average man. <laughs> An average man with average height. <laughs> and I was like, wow. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm a number. Yeah, 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 I'm literally a number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was looking at fingers, I was thinking, the scientists won't even remember doing this test. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm middle of the pack. They won't remember facts. <laughs> they won't. Facts. Fam, they won't know. I was looking at it thinking, there's nothing interesting. Nothing I'm, stands out. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just a part of their day. I'm the scientists won't even remember. <laughs> That's facts. Yeah, hundred oh. percent. Yeah, there's like the, the whole time he's doing it. At no point was he like under the microscope, yeah, yeah, and his yeah. eyebrow didn't do anything. Yeah, no, no. At no point was like, oh, interesting. Yeah, no, yeah, no yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just any bread. Oh, Shannon, come see this. Come yeah, see this. Come yeah, see yeah. this. Rah, 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 rah. Come, 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 come. Come, come, come check this blood. Yeah, like, 
it, it, there was no point where he was like, how old is he? And like, I had to go through the... <laughs> Go through the little thing to check my my my, my the facts. Rolodex. Yeah, 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 the Rolodex. He <laughs> didn't have to go through the Rolodex. But James, Tucker, James, Tucker, James, Tucker. fuck, fuck. That's not making sense. I said fuck. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> You're playing the scenario yeah, out. Yeah. None. I was thinking none of these things happen. <laughs> I'm so basic. Bro. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, <clears throat> that's all done. That's all done. Then mm. I was listening to. Um, Andrew Schultz's podcast, Flagrant, okay. the other day. Okay. And they had my boy, Dr. Andrew Huberman on. Okay. I love me some Andrew Huberman. Okay. So for context, uh, he is, uh, and I'm pretty sure he's in, he specializes in neuroscience okay. at Stanford University. I'm pretty sure that's his day-to-day. Okay. But he is just Mr. Science. Mm. Anything, the same way, uh, what's his name, Martin Lewis? Mm-hmm. Is Mr. Money. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If he's on a show, you're thinking, I'm going to learn some money stuff that I didn't think I needed to know. Dr. Huberman, when he comes on a show, he, you're going to learn science stuff you didn't think you, you needed think, to know. Okay. And he's the kind of guy, and he is all about clinical research. Mm-hmm. He knows the studies. Mm-hmm. He knows the research. Mm-hmm. He doesn't think about, well, he doesn't give his personal opinion on he anything. He just gives you facts. That's what I love about him. He will never, ever say, well, I think. He'll, yeah. That would never come out of his mouth. Mm. It would be like, the research shows this or the research shows it doesn't. And if mm. the research doesn't show it, if there's not a journal that he can cite mm. or an article that he can cite to say the results, mm-hmm. he's just not going to speak on it. Okay. He'd be like, there's just, <clears throat> he said, there's just not enough studies. That's all he'd say. There's just not been the research that just hasn't been done. He'll never say, mm. I think or I believe or anything yeah. like that. Mr. Science. So from that, I listen to, I basically listen to everything he has to say all the time. Probably shouldn't, but I listen to everything. Mm. So <clears throat> he's done a lot of talk about uh, like testosterone replacement. He's done a lot of talk about like the benefits of sleep, the benefits of diet, the benefits of the best way to train and longevity. Yeah. And he does all these things, right? Yeah. And then he was on Schultz's podcast. And he was talking, I would really, really recommend listening to this episode. Yeah. It starts off a bit shaky because they have this very like, they have this really like, how to explain it? Mean girls scenario. So you watched it, Schultz. I'm not, I've Flagrant. not seen that episode. No, 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 not seen, episode. Yeah, I'm, saying, know, I'm saying in general. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. The way okay. the podcast yeah, is set yeah, up yeah, is yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's Schultz, yeah. there's Akash, yeah. and there's the, the two, other two. The, the researcher and the editor, yeah. um, Alex and I can't remember the other guy's mm. name, the white and guy's yeah. name, who's actually really interested. And He's, they have the guest in the middle. And then they have a guest in the middle. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like, mm-hmm. and they have so many personal jokes that they throw mm-hmm. around. Mm-hmm. And the guest is always like, <laughs> like, I want to be part of the gang, yeah, yeah, but I'm obviously yeah, yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes it gets a bit jarring, okay. especially when you have people that I'm really interested in. Yeah. Like, it's not too bad when they have other comedians on there because yeah. the comedian can like pick up on it of and course, just do their, just, play their part. Yeah, 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 yeah. When they have scientists on there or they have Mr. Beast on there, they have other people that are like interested on there. They just don't know how to be part of the gang. Okay. And they just kind of sit there awkwardly, like waiting for the laughter to subside. Yeah, yep. And it gets tiring sometimes. Okay. But with this, they had it for like 15, 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I was this close to like, I think I'm just going to lock it off. But it got good. Okay. It got good. Okay. I'll listen. I'll and um, oh, it's worth it. Yeah. And <clears throat> towards the end, Alex, the uh, editor, mm-hmm. brought up peptides. Okay. So as I was saying um, to Rem, I was saying that basically, I, so I used to go to the gym. Um, I used to go to the gym with this guy called John, right? Mm-hmm. And that's the guy I was messaging earlier. Okay. So I used to go to the, I used to go to the gym with a guy called John, and he's wham. Mm-hmm. I'm constantly if you have you seen him before? You may or may not have met him before. Um, the name rings a bell though. Wham. He's a you might have seen him like kind of short guy, probably like five seven, massive beard, white guy, huge. Maybe not then. I'll okay, see, never maybe mind. Not, maybe not. Exclusively wears gym leggings. Exclusively. Exclusive. Jars me. No, no. Jars me, but his legs are so jacked, you can't okay. say anything. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, you yeah. can't say anything. Fair enough. Right? Because if I had your legs, I'd wear exclusive yeah. leggings as well. Stop saying exclusive. <laughs> Sweet in me. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, so yeah. um, he's really, really smart. Okay. And then, similar to like Huberman, mm. loves research analysis, mm. loves like doing the research on this, that, and the John, other. We're John, about. Okay, okay, really, yeah. really lo- looks, uh, is, sorry, is way smarter than he looks. Okay. Um, not to say he doesn't look smart, mm-hmm. but he's actually crazy smart. Okay. And really, really scientific. Mm-hmm. And he can research like journals and articles and studies like off the top of his head. Okay. This, the way people re- flip in, say Bible verses off the top of their head, he's coming yeah. up with studies. Okay. So okay. He, every time we used to talk, he would never talk to me about gear. Mm-hmm. But one consistent topic, and I'm talking probably like four or five years ago, mm-hmm. one consistent topic that would always come up, peptides. Okay. Anytime I had an issue with something, mm. man were like, 
you need this peptide, this, this, this. Mm. And back then I was terrified of needles. Mm-hmm. So every time I say peptides to me, I'd be thinking, stop talking because yeah, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. I'm not going to do it. John, I'm not going to do it. You're yeah. wasting your breath on me. I'm interested, mm. but I, I struggle to keep interested because I know this doesn't apply to me. Because mm-hmm. all I heard a second ago was you say needle mm. and I'm done. Yeah, yeah. And he would say peptides, peptides, peptides. And I didn't, I was thinking, I don't even know what peptide is. Mm. Just run me gear or something. Yeah. Just tell me, yeah, 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 just tell me how to look like you. And he would yeah. say peptide, 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 yeah, yeah, peptide, yeah, yeah, peptides. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, for God's sake. And then I remember when I hurt my back originally, mm-hmm. I went to the gym one day and he's like, oh, I haven't seen you for a while. Like, what's going on? And I was like, oh, bro, I think I've got like a herniated disc, like this, that, that, that. And he was like, oh, there's this peptide called such, such, such. Yeah. And I was like, for God's sake, oh, I need bit his head off. Yeah. For God's sake, John, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not stabbing myself. Yeah. But he, and he was like, oh, it was really good because I had a client who also had a similar back issue. She had two shots um, in the site uh, of, of, he was like, I remember him saying it was two shots in the affected site. Mm. And all I heard was, Stab me in my back. Yeah, yeah, facts. And all I thought was paralyzed. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I remember thinking this is such a useless com- yeah, conversation. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not putting anything in my yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. You're crazy. The affected sight. <laughs> Don't talk like that. Don't talk like that to me, John. <laughs> bro, I was thinking, I'm tired of this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not putting anything in my yeah. spine, bro. <laughs> Never. Anyway, so I moved on from it. But for some reason, whenever I think about him, mm. I always think peptides. Yeah. And I've never thought about peptides again. Yeah, anyway, yeah. move it. This is how we connect to flagrant. So okay. Alex is on there and he's like, oh, but just before you leave, like I'm really interested in peptides. Can you talk to us about peptides? Mm. Human was like, say less. Mm, and he was like, up. bro, I sat up. Because yeah, yeah. if human is excited, <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, he's like, say less. Mm. So he was like, there's a lot of talk about peptides. There's all this and this. And he was like, and one of the main ones is um, a peptide called c- celer. S- or something like that. Okay. And um, he started talking about it and he was like, basically, this is like one of the peptides that are very common in like, if we're talking like movie stars, if you okay. see a movie star gets a Marvel movie, all of a sudden mm-hmm. they're like, it's like, it's a perfect middle ground. A peptide is like a perfect middle ground the way he described it. Um, obviously an actual peptide is like a long chain amino acid, something, 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 something. Like it's like very deep. I've been researching it all weekend, as you can tell. <laughs> um, so... Basically, it was like, it's a perfect middle ground between like your typical supplements okay. and steroids. Okay. And like, it doesn't have like the kind of androgenic effects and side effects that steroids would have, mm-hmm. like your hair loss or your mm-hmm. voice is getting deeper mm-hmm. or like you're finding like growth um, and you're getting like gyno on your boobs and all this horrible stuff and like your bull shut down. Mm. It doesn't have those effects. Yeah. But obviously, you're not going to get these extreme results. Mm. You, with the steroids, you get extreme results, but extreme side effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> with peptides, he's basically saying like, bro... The research is showing yeah. there's a couple, one of them that he was, he was uh, talking about was one called Celeron. And basically what that does is you inject it just before bed mm-hmm. and it gives you a, a, a massive release during your sleep of human growth hormone. Which, um, <clears throat> if people don't know, human growth hormone is the growth hormone. Mm-hmm. So it grows everything, it grows mm-hmm. muscles, but um, also... The- Random, sorry to cut you off. Go on. Um, Messi's human growth hormone was affected when it was a youth. He had to get replaced or something. That's why he's small. Something really? Like that, yeah. I was watching a documentary about That's another thing as well. Yeah. So when people are affected, there's people, when you really see like the tallest people in the world yeah, and yeah, people yeah. that have like giantism and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, another one is, uh, what's his name? Uh, Tony, Tony Robbins. Okay. Tony Robbins. Um, so Tony Robbins is like super, super, super famous, like motivational guy, has like seminars and stuff like that. Anyway, he's got like giantism, okay. like massive hands, super tall, massive hands, tall massive fucking he? head. I think he's like six, seven, six, eight, something like that. He's big. Oh, wow. and, he's, and like, but he had an issue with his uh, whatever part of the brain, I can't remember what it's called. Um, <clears throat> pituitary gland, I think. Okay. Pituitary gland, I think, is the one, I could be wrong. Um, that releases human growth hormone. Okay. So I'm assuming Messi would have had something wrong with his pituitary gland. Okay. Um, and on the flip side, if you have a growth or a tumor on your pituitary gland, mm-hmm. it causes you to your brain to excessively produce growth hormone mm-hmm. and you just grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's what he had. Mm-hmm. He had like a, a growth on his uh, pituitary gland. Okay. Um, so anyway, growth hormone. So anyway, you take the cell Yeah. growth hormone through the night and you don't want to take it every day because obviously it reduces the effectiveness on it. But the mm. also reason you don't want to take it every day is because it grows everything. So if you um, have, for example, a little tumor in yourself, a little tumor somewhere that you don't know about, you start taking growth hormone, the tumor's going to grow. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So one of the potential side effects of this peptide. Okay. But if you don't, then it won't. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course I guess but... we'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. So yeah, if in six weeks, <coughs> but basically what he was saying is like, if you want to get it, you need to get it from like really trusted sources. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. can get like you don't want to go on the black market and just like okay. do some PayPal thing or some yeah, random yeah, rare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get anything. Mm. Um, but this one intrigued me. This one intrigued okay. me, and this one Andrew Huberman actually takes himself. Okay. He said, "I take it three three nights a week." He said, "It's banging." Okay. And the studies show like no long-term effects so there's, mm. there's obviously side effects with everything you do mm. but he was like this one's pretty cool okay. and I was like gang and then on top of that he was like oh there's another one mm. called like I can't remember what this one was called but it's like really really good for repair and it's called like BV500 something 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 like that yeah 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 yeah, yeah. do you know what he said what he was like I had this back issue two shots in the affected site never had an issue since and I was thinking John you son of a bitch you were right the whole time <laughs> John you son of a bitch you son of a bitch <laughs> I was thinking, damn, he was right. I should have done the back thing. Because I'm five years later, still yeah, struggling. Yeah. I'm five years in, still struggling. Hmm. That being said, I don't That's... think I can shank myself in the <laughs> back. I just don't think I can. Someone have to tie me yeah, down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tie me down. Legs and Give arms. Give me something to bite. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. My spine. <laughs> Legs and arms. Bro, yes. Because <laughs> I'll shake. I'll shake it, I'll miss. So yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> to circle back yeah, to this yeah, whole yeah. thing, round it up. A middle of the pack basic bitch when it comes to testosterone. Anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. But daddy might do a little <laughs> sort of ones, thing, a yeah. little peptide thing. Yeah. So watch me now because in six weeks' time I could be wham and lean, <laughs> but I also could have like a growth on my face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I see you I'm like in like, three weeks yeah, yeah. and your head is a little bit yeah, bigger, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could I'm look nervous like, for I you. could look like the bread from the hunchback bread from three hundred. Oh, do you remember? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Oh, yeah, I could be that bread. Movie though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, they, and they, yeah, you, oh, bro, do you remember? They brought him into the, the li- weird little like sex factory thing. Yes, yes, everyone, yes. Everyone was a little bit like him. <laughs> everyone was a little bit like him. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Mm-hmm. It looked banging in there. Yeah, yeah. It really did. It was like a circus, but yeah. it was crazy. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I was too young at the time to watch that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I was, I was probably, I was in premium like puberty years. Okay. And I, yeah, I just remember like two women with their face like together, <laughs> but it was just tears yeah, everywhere. Yeah. And I was like, oh my Ooh. God. <laughs> that it was, was a yeah, yeah, that was comfortable. It was an American horror story. Yeah, 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 yeah literally, yeah. literally. Um, um, yeah, so I'll, yeah. Watch, I'll watch the episode. I'll definitely watch it. Really, really interesting. Most right? recent, most flagrant recent episode. flagrant episode. Okay. Um, well, by the time this comes out, probably won't be the most recent, yeah, yeah. but I'm pretty sure it's still the most recent. Mm. Really fascinating episode. Say less. They don't just talk, the peptides is like probably like the last 15 minutes. The okay. other stuff they talk about, fascinating. Say less. Okay. Fascinating. I love Andrew Huberman. Say He's got, also got a podcast himself called Huberman Lab. It's pretty heavy. Mm-hmm. He really gets deep on some subjects. Not surprised. And sometimes it can be a bit like, I don't, I've lost, you've lost yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you've saying lost. words that yeah. never <laughs> existed. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You're using three words to form a sentence and I don't know what any of those words mean. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's just like, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. But human has a bit much, but yeah, when he guests on other people's podcasts who are dumb like us, yeah. he has to break it down into layman's terms. terms. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, you're like, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run me the peptide. Okay, say less, say less. So I've been on the search for a dodgy doctor that can prescribe us some serum and I keep saying serum and because I can't remember what it's called. The affected area, yeah. the affected site. That's still till day, till now. Oh, that's scary, bro. That's, that's a scary terminology. Terrifying. Yeah, say less. So, um, yeah, look at, look out for me, guys. In six weeks, I could be wham and just have a <laughs> eye that's bulging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we'll see. Um, one other thing I want to say, okay, right? I've got a story time for you. Okay, hit me. You haven't had a story time in a minute, I don't think. Yeah. So I had a fantastic situation in the barbers the other day. Okay. So obviously, oh, yeah, yeah. I remember you told you I had a barber appointment. Mm-hmm. It got cancelled. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had to go to Homeboy, classic Homeboy that everyone knows that I have a love-hate relationship with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went to him. I messaged him because he just had ACL surgery. I remember you telling so me. So I was like, bro, are you on your feet or not? I basically just texted him, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, are you about, are you acting? Yeah, I need a haircut today. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, yeah, come through. So mm-hmm. I went through. And as I get there... You went to the shop or you went to his? I went to the shop. Mm. Um, I came through and he's cutting someone's hair. Mm. I go in. And it's my old friend, Kojo. Okay. And Kojo, who I haven't seen in such a long time, is, uh, I spoke to him about him before. He's a YouTuber. You ha- Church? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah, super yeah. Christian guy. Yeah, yeah, he has a yeah, YouTube yeah, channel yeah. Um, where he talks about like relationships. Mm-hmm. He does a lot of content on like dating shows and mm. all that kind of stuff. I think he's got quite a big audience in America, he told me and stuff like that. Okay. But basically he was like my North Star. When we were starting mm, this, he was my North Star. He's the only person I've ever known mm. who actually 
is doing it. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Making money remember. doing it, making money from it. Yeah. This is like three years ago now. Yeah, I, wow, I remember. And I wow. would refer to him yeah. in everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, he's, he's given me loads of advice throughout, throughout the time here. And like when I've really had my struggles uh, with like growing this channel and like growing our audience and stuff like that, I remember probably like a year ago, we were on 8,000 subs, I remember. 8,000 mm. subs. And, I, and we were stuck there for ages. Mm. And I remember saying to him, uh, I, I voice noted him and I was like, bro, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't really know what to do. I don't know what to try. I don't know if we should just stick to what we're doing mm. and what we know if we should, should be trying different stuff. I don't yeah. know if it's patterning. Like there's a growth as of late. It's been really slow. Yeah. And he just replied real quick and was like, brother, it took me three years to get to 8,000 subs. You're doing just fine. Okay. Just stick with it. Okay. And I was like, raw. Okay, say less. Perspective. Say less. And he does content every day. Ooh. on youtube he posts video most days oh wow he's busy Sounds hard magic. working bre Fair late. um Fair late. so yeah 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 i was i, I saw him and i haven't seen him in at years. all yeah yeah in yeah. years i've spoken to him i haven't seen him in years mm -hmm. i was so happy to see him Gang. so happy to see him so Gang. i ran in there and i was like yo 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 Gang. can i get an autograph <laughs> and he was like oh james da, da, da. <laughs> and it was just me and him in the shop yeah, yeah no one yeah, else was yeah, in the yeah. shop oh, so just you, me so him and actually brace each other like yeah 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 we were just talking and um Bro, we were in there just chopping it up and yeah. it was like, wow. And we were talking about like this life, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just this life. And it was just to have someone else where we're not at an event and mm -hmm. we're not in that kind of situation. Yeah. To someone that I grew up with, yeah. to talk about these things yeah. was so refreshing. Dang. So refreshing. Dang, I love that for you. And bro, it was amazing. And um, so we spoke about it. We spoke about YouTube. We spoke mm -hmm. about like live shows. We spoke about growing audiences, the mm -hmm. struggles. Mm -hmm. We spoke about the money. We mm -hmm. spoke about... Just like fame stuff. We spoke about everything, man. Yeah. And we were, we were talking for like over an hour. Just nonstop, nonstop. Okay. And like, it was cool as well because obviously my barber's been cutting my hair since I was a kid. Yeah. He's been cutting Kojo's hair since he was a kid. Because yeah. Kojo lives in Birmingham. So he's been, he's, he like, he knows us since we were kids as well. Mm. And obviously we're in, the, we're in the same year in school. We went to mm. different schools. We're in the same year. And the beautiful thing about Kojo is he's the, one of the most authentic people you've ever met, right? So well, this is what I say. It's a story time as well. Mm. So I met him in year nine. Okay. I met him in year nine, right? Okay. And um, the day I met him, he was, like I said, he went to a different school. I was walking to the shop after school mm -hmm. with two of my boys, uh, Robert and Perry, I remember, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> Robert and Perry, I was walking down the shop with, to the shop with them. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I look across the road and I see this morbidly obese Ghanaian kid with the thickest Dexter's Lab glasses, glasses. I've uh, ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With these... Um, earphones in yeah and he is skanking through her oh, swear. up the road oh sick. by himself yeah 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 beaming from ear yeah, to ear yeah. <laughs> skanking, skanking. and less. i'm like and then i remember robin perry was just like this waste man and i've yeah. never seen him before and yeah, they were like yeah. oh here we go here's kojo okay here we go here's kojo yeah yeah, yeah and i'm like what well, who's this guy yeah, and he's like he's just on waste man he just dances all the time yeah, like yeah. i didn't understand like why he does this right mm. it's embarrassing yeah, yeah. and i remember thinking about i was i was like yeah yeah it's <laughs> but i was thinking this guy got Bollocks. bollocks he's happy he's, he's loving it. life loving right now life. i've yeah, never yeah. seen someone enjoy life yeah, just this embracing much. his own space and, Bro, time. and yeah. i was like wow yeah, 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 yeah. this guy's cool man mm. he looks like the biggest nerd mm. but he looks cool bro mm. like i can't believe he's got the balls to just be dancing on road like this yeah, yeah. and he's not even in his ends yeah yeah yeah, yeah. he's in my ends because his school's yeah. from time away as well i don't okay. even know what he's doing up here yeah yeah um so anyway i met him briefly then um said cool introduce myself etc mm. etc as you do in year nine and you're talking yeah. to a breath from another school you yeah, don't really yeah. check for him like that True. you just give him a little yeah let that man talk and yeah, then you yeah, bounce yeah, and you, you spot bounce, him by yeah, afterwards yeah, yeah. yeah don't let, just don't let me see you here again yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? let me catch you around these parts yeah, again yeah, say you less. seem like a nice guy just yeah. don't let me you know you know you shouldn't be here you know that you know the streets yeah, 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 you know the code yeah if you at least get changed out of your school uniform like what are you trying to do something blend in yeah don't make me in a position where i have to take action I don't want to be put in that position, so don't put me in that Take position. Action. <laughs> I don't want to have to drape the badge off your yeah, blazer. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> jokes, <laughs> jokes. So anyway, um, moving on from there. Mm. Um, later on in life, probably a couple of years after that, mm. I meet um, my friend who went to his school as well, called Jason, mm. who is like one of my close basketball friends. Mm. This is when I got really, really deep into basketball, and I got really, really close with Jason. And um, little did I know, Jason was also best friends with Kojo. Okay. So I get reintroduced to Kojo a few years later. Mm. He's still Mr. Skank. He's still yeah, Mr. Yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah. He's still just like this happiest guy I've met and mm. just like pure hearted, lovely guy. Yeah. Uh, and I 
every time I met him, I was just like, bro, this guy is so positive. Mm. Like he's so nice, so positive, so mm. cool. Uh, he started getting into gym, lost loads of weight, was just wham, mm. uh, bro. And he just started developing in his life. And I was just like, this guy's just cool. And as I, as I followed his life, he started doing YouTube kind of like after uni times. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> he started doing YouTube after uni times. And then like, I remember being like, raw, fair play. Mm. And he started like in his bedroom with like a really shitty webcam and everything. And he just kept doing it, kept doing yeah, it, kept doing it. Yeah. And I kind of lost touch with it, man. Um, I didn't really check in for a, a good few years until I started. Yeah. And then I would go on Instagram and still see him posting yeah, about his yeah, YouTube yeah, stuff. And yeah, I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. let me actually check. Mm. And I remember I checked and I think he actually might have had like 8,000 subs at the time. Okay. I think randomly, I think that's a weird connection. I might be making it up, but I'm pretty sure it was about 8,000 subs. Mm. And I remember <clears> thinking at the time, like, Oh my God. That's a lot of followers, bro. You've got 8,000 yeah. subs because we might have had 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was yeah. like, this guy's got 8,000 subs. Was it subs? when we started or when you started your first one? I think it might have been when we started. Okay. I think it might have been when we started. Mm. Um, and I remember thinking, bro, oh, mm. this guy's doing the most. Okay. And I was thinking, he's actually getting paid for this. Because <laughs> yeah, in my head, yeah. I'm thinking, if you, once you get to 1,000 subs, yeah, you're getting paid. You're getting money. He's got eight times that. Yeah, yeah so he's getting, he's getting money. He's getting, making money. Yeah, YMCMB. And yeah, I remember yeah. maybe a year after that, maybe a little while after that, <clears throat> he posted uh, a screenshot from his YouTube like studio app. Yes. And had like the graph of his growth. Yes. And his like subs over time and stuff like that. And he was like, today's the day I quit my job. I'm going to be doing YouTube full time. And I remember we were so early on. Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like... Wow, he's really doing it. Yeah, yeah, he's He's really doing it, bro. This guy's doing it. He's killing it. And it motivated me so, 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 Mm. so, so much. Um, And then um, moving on from there, obviously I had the conversation where we were 8,000 subs. At this point, I think he was like 20,000, 30,000. And he was doing so well for himself. And I'm just like, oh man, I just want to be like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then throughout that period of time, like obviously our success has taken off. Yes. And... um, we've just gone and gone and gone mm-hmm. and I've never ever ever forgot forgotten about him and mm-hmm. I, I still talk to him sometimes but not as much as I'd like mm-hmm. and um, as well another prop to him is obviously due to our success on TikTok yes. he spoke to me about TikTok one time and I was like yeah man do TikTok like, I, yeah, there's no yeah, reason yeah, why yeah, not yeah, to yeah. and I thought he was going to do it based on the, the relationship stuff that he does on his YouTube channel yes. and stuff like that uh, and, I, and all of a sudden I start seeing his TikToks and um, it's just him doing year nine Kojo stuff. Sick. He's this in the gym s- just dancing. Okay. And I'm like, this is him, bro. Yeah, this is the real Kojo. This is yeah. real him and I really liked it because <clears throat> he, you know when you go on TikTok sometimes and mm. you see people like on the underground, mm-hmm. they'll be on the underground in London or in New York mm. or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're doing up dancing on the oh, train yeah, 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 and you're yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah, why are you yeah, begging yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Like, why would you do this? Yeah. I know for a fact that's actually him. Yeah. Because I've seen that since I was a little kid. Yeah. This is the exact same guy. Yeah. And 15, 16 years later, he's mm. still doing the same thing. Mm. And I was like, wow, fair play. Didn't think about it again. Mm. Checked on it. Checked on it. I think he posted about it all about. And he hit 100,000 on TikTok. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, wait a second. So that's it. You've done one form of content over here and made it your career. Mm-hmm. And you're living off it. Mm-hmm. And then you've decided to do a completely separate style of content on a completely separate app. And you've grown an even bigger audience on that mm. app. And I was like, this guy's actually killing it. Oh, he's got 100,000 on TikTok. Followers. On TikTok. Oh, I on thought he meant he got, that video had 100,000 views. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. He's got 100, over 100,000 on TikTok. Okay, okay. From I'm completely with you. separate content I'm with to the you. stuff he's I'm already with built his whole yeah, life yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was yeah. like, this guy's killing it. Okay. He's actually killing it. So when we were in the barbers yesterday, I was like, bro, you don't understand. Like, you're yeah. breaking the mold. Yeah. And yeah. he's like, nah. You're breaking them out of the thunder. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. whatever, man. <laughs> I'm not having this back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not Let doing this. Shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, we had this conversation. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> as I'm thinking about all these reminiscent things about how much he's meant, his career has meant to me yeah. and what my friendship with him has meant to me yeah. growing up, yeah. up until where we're at right now mm. and how big of an influence he was to me uh, in terms of becoming a success and what we do. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm reminiscing all these things feeling so much joy and it's at the same time I may have or may not have spoken to you about this I'm, I, I don't think I actually have yeah. but recently I found myself in a really really neg- this is getting a bit deep for what we usually do but whatever I've recently found myself in a really negative space probably over the last month How so? and I've allowed I've allowed stress to get on top of me okay Okay. And I've allowed myself to be a reactive person. Okay. I've not been responding. I've been reacting. Yeah. Okay. Anything that bad happens, I'm mm. just like, oh, it's the end of the world. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, well, the, yeah, why is this happening? Why, is it, why, why can't things just run smoothly? Yeah. And I'm just getting stressed and stressed and stressed. And I'm yeah. not enjoying stuff. 
and I'm not enjoying challenges. Yeah. And I remember I had to sit down with myself and I was like, you know what? I really need to start practicing gratitude. Mm -hmm. Like I should be grateful for everything that we have. Mm -hmm. I should be grateful for the challenges that happen. Um, and then we had this little hiccup on YouTube like last week mm -hmm. or beginning of this week, Sunday, whatever, mm -hmm. with the demonetization yes, stuff and all this yes, stuff. And, yes, yes. and that would be the way I've been the last few weeks. That would be such a moment where I'm like, oh uh, my yeah, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. what next? Throw your toys at the yeah, 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 yeah. But I was like, gang, yeah. new challenge. Okay. Let's deal with it. Yeah. We've dealt with a million challenges up to here. Facts. There was a time in our career where we would just gave up on YouTube. Facts. We were like, we're never going to make money we're on We're never going to make money. We're never going to be monetized. Yeah, so let's, yeah, yeah. Let's they just, just demonetize all our videos. Yeah, yeah. So let's just stick to Patreon. Let's yeah. stick to this. Let's stick to that. Yeah, let's yeah, figure yeah. out ways around it. Yeah. I mean, it was never, making money on YouTube was never a barrier for us. Yeah. And now we found ourselves in a position where I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Mm. So when it happened, instead of overreacting like I have been and complaining, I was like, gang, let's, find, let's figure our way around this. Yeah. There is a way around it. Let's figure out a way around it and just get the best of both worlds. And I've been enjoying that all week. And it's only been literally this week that I've been practicing gratitude, practicing gratitude. And then when these hiccups happen, mm -hmm. I've not been stressed. Mm -hmm. I've been cool, challenge. This is competition, challenge, mm -hmm. challenge, challenge. And I'm a competitive person. And to bring it back to Kojo, like I said, as I'm reminiscing on all this stuff yeah. about his life and my relationship with him, yeah. he's saying to me, like, bro, you don't understand. Like, growing up, you were always that competitive guy. Mm. Like, you were so competitive yeah, about yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. every time I'm dancing, mm. you'll, be, you'll come back from uni with all these, like, skanking yeah. and all this stuff. You're so competitive. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you always yeah. come back, like, oh, look, look at this doggy doggy. thing. Yeah. Do you remember? <laughs> I'd always come back, like, yo, yeah, what's his new move? I just did it eight. <laughs> And he was like, James, you're so competitive. Like every time I would have something, you'd be like, yeah, yeah, watch this, watch this. Yeah, yeah. And like <clears throat> when he started, he's like, when I started getting into gym, mm. all of a sudden I'm looking on Instagram and you're doing bodybuilding shows, you're mm. doing that. And it's like, mm. you're so competitive, mm. always driven, 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 mm. driven. And then you start this YouTube thing and then all of a sudden, bang, like you start mm. this TikTok thing and all of a sudden, bang, like you've always been to me. He's like, James, you've always been to me, this guy that I look to and be like, when James starts something, like mm. he goes mm. for it. That's wholesome. Fam. And That's it's happening in this transitionary yeah. period in my life where I'm thinking, I need to be like that. Yeah. And it made me think, he's saying, all these praise to me I'm thinking if he knew what I've been acting like mm. the last month or so he would be disgusted mm. he'd be like who is this Brer mm. and he's like he has all this stuff going on for him and all he's doing is complaining about mm. baby little shit and bro like yesterday was such a wholesome day for yeah. me yesterday was such a wholesome Sounds day for me like it, bro. bro such a wholesome day no wonder you had like an hour or so conversation bro yeah. over the course of that hour yeah. I went through a roller coaster of emotions, emotions. Yeah, I and imagine. I came out of it feeling so fulfilled you felt cleansed. I felt yeah, cleansed, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I got into my RS5 and sped <laughs> off. <laughs> and then there was fire at my exhaust. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I was like, wait, smart. <laughs> nah, but no. Um, That's jokes. So yeah, anyway, it was a great, great, great conversation. Yeah, yeah, a great yeah. experience. Um, and yeah, bro, I was gassed. I was very wholesome, gassed, man. bro. Dang. So what I'm going to do, I never do this, but what I'm going to do, I'm, I want to send everyone to his channel. Mm. you have to let him know I sent you mm. because he can't just get bare subs yeah. and but think for no reason that, what do yeah, I do yeah I need the receipts yeah. so <laughs> I need the praise I need the receipts yeah. I need a DM from him to be yeah. like Ra thank you so <laughs> much you've changed my life <laughs> hilarious so anyway his hilarious. channel his name's Kojo his channel's Little Black Book 91 I think let me just double check because I checked before here but I just want to make sure I'm saying it right yeah it'll be popped up you'll <laughs> yeah, see it pop up Ellis on the screen is going to anyway. chuck it on there yeah, so Little Black Book 91 all yeah. one word um, he does literally like daily streams, daily content. He pumps out the content mm. and he's been doing it for years and years and years. So guys, head on over to his channel, throw him some love for me. But if you do, for the love of God, let him know I sent you. You have to say, James, <laughs> hear from James Richards again or hear from Richards again because yeah, yeah. I can't just let him have free money like that. <laughs> anyway. Um, that's love, man. Shout out to Kojo, man. Yeah, that's love. Shout out to Kojo because yeah, that's he's been love. a massive inspiration in my life, in my career mm. and everything like that. And he deserves literally the world. He literally deserves the world. Do you know what's actually crazy about life? Like, if, obviously, um, those that know or don't know, we now have the same barber. But if he didn't cancel yesterday, Bro, what I'm saying. you never would have had this conversation. Never would have had this conversation. You never would have saw him. Yeah, this I never would have saw him. This whole outlook on, not necessarily life, but this a whole outlook on these past few years or past few months, and you reminiscing to when he, you were in year nine, this would never would have happened. Oh, I know, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, Sam would have come to my house, cut my hair, we had a little chin wipe, and, and we'd have done, done. You would have been still thinking about this demonetization. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I would have come in there like, what's going on yeah, in there? Yeah, yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bro. bro. It was crazy. That's wild. It was really, really crazy. Yeah, really, really, really good Kojo, moment. Shouts to Kojo. Yeah. I, it, was, it was lovely that's to gang. see him yesterday. That's gang. Lovely to see him like yesterday, that. bro. That's love. Really, really great. Also, moments are incredible. Oh, the best. Anyway, back to it. You got a video for me, apparently. Yes, I do. So, let me find it and then... Uh, we can go from there. All right, cool. So for context, guys, um, <clears throat> for the audio listeners, 
it's a video of um, a chick talking about um, light skin privilege, and it's um, what's her name again? Uh, who Munch? Yeah, yeah Mon- I Ice, Ice Spice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Ice Spice is. Um, they're talking about Ice Spice saying, "Oh, she's got light skin privilege because she's blown up so quick." Mm-hmm. Um, and then the video, um, there's a chick uh, talking about, "Oh, saying it's light skin privilege, blah blah." But the guy replies and saying, "Nah, bro. No. She hit one of these. She hit one of these little instant jones. The, 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 the video's over. That's, that's ten- <laughs> so the guy the was said instant jones. Instant jones. <laughs> When you say hit one of these for the audio listeners, man was shaking his body, bro. The body was wiggling. Let me watch it properly myself. Watch it properly and I read the comments. My skin privilege is the fact that she was blown up overnight. But Flo Millie, who's actually insane. Nah, bro. She hit one of these. She hit one of these little instant Jones. The video's over. His cheeks were <laughs> clapping, bro. Clapping. Bro, the comments. Oh, you see, yeah, yeah, the comments, comments, comments. <laughs> My brother in Christ, throw it back some more. <laughs> Man said, for free? <laughs> for free? <laughs> Be honest, Brody. Did you practice that? Oh. That shit's moving. Man said, now why is your joint so active? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, one person, he's definitely, definitely holding him back. <laughs> that spun me. That spun me. <laughs> he's definitely holding back. Bro, if it hit 30 million views proving his point. Oh. <laughs> Man said, all that recoil... <laughs> Bro, TikTok bro, comments are the best. It's the funniest place, bro. Oh my days! But yeah, that that video sweeted me. I don't even know why he pra- why he knows how to do that, bro. It doesn't make sense. Man said he hit one of these Insta Jones. Insta Jones. <laughs> the, the term Jones, Jones sweets yeah, me. Whenever someone says it, sweets me. Oh my god! But yeah, that's funny, bro. TikTok yeah, comments. There's there's gonna have to be a time. I've, I wrote this in my notes a while ago. Mm. There's going to come a time when we do some content yeah. that is pure TikTok comments. Mm. Pure mm. TikTok mm. comments because mm. they are better than the video. Oh, rags, 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 100%. Rags, rags, that's that's going to be something we're going to do. Cool. Um, but anyway, I've got just a couple just to finish off my favorite tweets of the week. Gang. There's one or two of these, bro. I've literally only got like three or four. Gang. One or two of these, bro, had me bent up. Right. <laughs> had me bent up. Say less. <laughs> So this is actually, I saw some of these, the, the, the thread that I saw it on yeah. was uh, at the Shade Room posted it and it was like um, the most out of pocket tweets of the week. Okay. The most out of pocket okay. tweets of the week. Okay. One breast said, just lost, cu- Hang on. just lost custody of my kids. What's the move for tonight? <laughs> I think I've seen that Bro. one. What's the move? What's the move? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I saw that one. <laughs> Jokes. Sweet I'm free. Me. I'm active now. I'm yeah, out yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on road. Bro, now. this one <laughs> killed me. <laughs> right. So, man said, <laughs> this one sweetened me because, this one sweetened me because I thought, as I was reading, yeah. I thought what I was reading as okay. I was reading it. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, I had a thought like, what? And then as I'm reading what, it's like, what? what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fam? The tweet. No matter how old they get, yeah. women like Nia Long, Ashanti, and Whoopi Goldberg will always be on top of everyone's hit list. Man's quoted it. And who? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, man said, and, and who? who? Facts. Whoopi. Fam, I read that and thought exactly the same thing. Fam, exactly. When I was reading it, I saw the Whoopi. I was like, who? <laughs> and it's all the thing. And who? Hilarious to me, bro. Hilarious to me. Nia Long, Ashanti, and Whoopi Goldberg. (laughs) That's it. And who? Facts. Oh, my God. All right, last one. Um, So, tweet and then reply to our own tweet, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I tried talking to a... All right. I tried talking to a creative fashion guy, and he asked me, what's the fit looking like when I invited to my grandpa's funeral? The question itself wasn't necessarily the issue, mm. but it was the delivery. When he asked this and the follow-up, when he, when he asked this, the follow-up was, we get fly, any occasion. <laughs> any, occasion any occasion, we get, get fly. fly. <laughs> What's the fit looking like? Fam, for a funeral. Do you want to come to my granddad's funeral with me? What's the fit looking like? I would be so rattled. I'd, 
I would swipe and delete the conversation. Because oh, clearly, you're not a serious human being. Bro. You're not a serious human being. And the fact that he followed up with such chest, Fact. I actually have, he would be back in my good books <laughs> after that. Because he's, he's a man of his word, bro, bro, and he sticks to his morals. Bro, he doesn't give a li- fuck who you li- are. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part A, <laughs> babe, my grandpa's just died. The funeral's on Wednesday. Do you want to yeah, come? Yeah. Say less. What's the fit looking like? <laughs> Pardon? Pardon? Yeah, yeah. What's the fit looking, <laughs> looking like? like? I said what I said. We get fly yeah. any, any occasion. occasion. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know what you're thinking with this pardon. Yeah. You heard what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the fit? You think I'm just going to rock up just because someone's died? Nah. I can just look busted. Nah. What's the fit? Because I want to leave people with a, with a sweet taste in yes. their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I want people to leave their thinking, the wake was awful, but, but who was that bread? Yeah, he was looking fly. Yeah, yeah. Literally. Who just, who's that bread? That was yeah. that Sarah? Because that pinstripe, <laughs> that golden black Wakanda forever pinstripe was looking mad. You get fly. We no get fly reason. no matter the occasion, Fair bro. Enough. And that's the end of that. Fair enough. Tell me what the fit is and sharp. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah. The and who? From the and who yeah, was the yeah, funniest yeah, tweet yeah. I've seen this month. <laughs> yeah. I laughed out loud, Fuhad. <laughs> yeah. And Same. who? Facts. Facts. Hilarious, bro. Facts. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> like, no offense. Like, props to her and everything she does, but you can't put her in the same bracket as Nia Long and Ashani. You can't put you her in just, any, bracket, anywhere near bracket, that bracket. Yeah, nowhere near that she's bracket. She's bro. <laughs> it's not the same. She's not anywhere near yeah. the, She's like not even ninth draft pick. Yeah, yeah, bro. She's not even bro. in this season's bro, draft pick. She's, she's going summer league. Yeah, yeah. She's doing yeah, up Z yeah. league, bro. She's doing up G facts, league, bro. Facts, 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 facts. She's, to she's to earning her way yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even then, she's riding the bench. In fact, she's not even sixth man. Yeah. She's not, bro. That was wild to me. But anyway, guys, um, a little bit different style of episode yeah, for today. Thank you so much for sticking around with us. Right. Um, as always, head on over to patreon.com forward slash shits and geese to get the bonus episode on Thursday and to binge watch everything we've ever done. Always. Love, love, love. Gang, gang, gang. Bless. Bless.